Deep in Burkina Faso's war-torn Sahel province lies the Gadubo refugee camp. It was rebuilt after Islamist militants burnt much of it to the ground last year. Around 11,000 refugees live here. They fled Mali, a country plagued by armed groups linked to the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda, to another beset by the same problem. Hollywood actress Angelina Jolie, who is special envoy for the UN's refugee agency, UNHCR, recently visited Gadubo to mark World Refugee Day and praised Burkina Faso for its treatment of the displaced. The truth is, we are not doing half of what we could and should to find solutions to enable refugees to return home or to support host countries like Burkina Faso. Coping for years with a fraction of the humanitarian aid needed to provide basic support and protection. Her visit took place in the country's only major refugee camp. Official sites for the country's 1.2 million internally displaced people, IDPs, are off limits to the media due to a government ban. Burkina Faso is one of the world's most neglected humanitarian crises, according to the Norwegian Refugee Council, and is struggling both to ward off terrorist attacks and protect IDPs. But its security forces have been accused by a local human rights group, the Collective Against Impunity and Stigmatisation of Communities, of atrocities against IDPs. A victim of one attack described watching his friends being killed in front of him by security forces. When they had finished gathering the young people, they burned everything, houses as well as crops. Then they took two people and shot them dead. One of us was beaten to death right next to me, as close as you are to me now. Human Rights Watch says abductions and extrajudicial killings of civilians are common in Burkina Faso. Since 2019, Human Rights Watch has documented over 200 cases of extrajudicial killings by Burkina Bay armed forces in the context of counterterrorism operations. Uh, this is an extremely worrying trend, which feeds, of course, in recruitment efforts by armed Islamist groups. IDPs live in constant fear, says the UNHCR. In the conflict-affected areas of the Sahel, communities literally live with the fear of the next attack. And that's what's driving up the number of people forcibly displaced. And with that, of course, comes higher needs for basic humanitarian services. The Kina Faso's defense ministry did not respond to requests for comments on the accusation of extrajudicial killings and abductions. Henry Wilkins, for VOA News, Kibibo Refugee Camp, Burkina Faso.